Welcome back. Sorry about that audio issue. Like, it kept playing the BRB music, and then Unavowed started, and it was really loud. But, ah, Jesus, it's still really loud. Holy shit! Alright. That's better. Welcome back to Unavowed. Uh, if you weren't here last time... Oh, wait, the BRB is still up. No, Jalen. Not now! Why is he even... He's not even making noise. Why is he here? I didn't hit the button! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I didn't hit it! Alright. You know that feeling when you run in for your life? Welcome back. That's like the, the fucking vibe for this game. You know that feeling when you run in for your life? Uh, this is Unavowed. If you weren't here last time... Last... Nime. If you weren't here last time, this is a... Kind of, uh, supernatural mystery solving point-and-click game taking place in the same universe as the Blackwell series that I streamed like two years ago um, And it's really great so far. We only did like the first case So we we're at a perfect stopping point. So let's just resume also Natalie. Thank you for the sub. Let's go uh, All right Look it saved the fucking achievement pop-up in the what the hell? <laughs> That's weird But yeah, uh, if you weren't here last time, a quick rundown of the plot so far is that our main character, whose name is Paykel, also Admiral, thank you for the sub, uh, very much. Uh, Paykel was possessed by a demon for a whole year, and he killed a bunch of people, including his friends. There's a framed photograph of them. He killed these people. That's Paykel. He did it. He When he was possessed, he shot his friends in in the head. And then these dudes un unpossessed him, and now he works with them to help solve crimes. That's it. And we just finished our first case, so let's let's head downstairs and see what people are up to. Oh hey, what's your name again? It's been a few days. Who, who are you? Good, you are awake. I was hoping to talk to you. Starts with an M, right? M m m there is nothing to worry about, I assure you. You have completed your first field mission. You must have... thoughts. I am curious as to what they are. What are you feeling at the moment? Um... I mean... Mandana. Right, okay. Uh... And then the other guy is... Eli, I think? Uh... Still a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. It would be foolish not to be. You have encountered many changes very quickly. For some of us, the unavowed is a calling. For others, a duty. But for you, I have seen you in action. I have seen you react under pressure. You were clearly meant for this life. Um, all I know is pouring drinks. You misunderstand me. Your old life, your life as a barkeep, prepared you for this. Oh, did it? Your empathy, your ability to connect to others. They are qualities we need quite badly, I must say. Um, hmm. Thank you. I'll do my best. This is, I, I'm like trying to get out of the, the Humphrey mindset where I'm a dick to everyone. I feel like Paykel has to be a good, a good boy. So thank you. I'll do my best. That is all any of us can hope for. At any rate, I detect no falsehood within you. You spoke the truth to me. Thank you. I will return to my training now. Are the voices loud enough? Should I turn them back up? I think the audio settings got saved, so let's go see Eli. Yo, what are you doing today? E Eli is casting some sort of, some sort of ritual fire orb. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was just reading some old text with Firesight. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Firesight, right. Look, look, see, he's... Pykel and I are the same person. That's exactly how I would have responded. Right, Firesight, of course. Sarcasm received and understood. Sorry. It's a fire magic trick. Let's me read any book that was consumed by flame. Oh. It's a bit of a strain on the eyes, but beggars can't be choosers. That seems like a very specific power to have. That's, uh, kind of cool. Being a mage has its moments. I won't deny it. Although, I can't say the same about this book. Could it be louder? It's an old Sumerian text about death magic. Really long really boring but i used to read books about s corp tax code for fun back when i was an accountant 
I can handle boring. Ah, well. See you at the meeting. Well, also, Eli's voice is, like, quieter than everyone else's for some reason. Maybe I'll turn it up a tad. Just a tad, though. Just a tad. Um. Uh, okay. See you at the meeting. Until then. Yo, I want to read some sacred texts. The sacred Jedi texts! He's creating a fucking summoning circle. Dude, K rules already in. You don't have to do this. I already, I already did this work for you, Eli. Hmm. All right. Yeah, so if you weren't here last time, those are like the two main members. And then her father, who is a, a jinn... He is, uh, she's all, she's half Jin. Her father is full Jin, And, uh, they, like, run this, this group called the Unavowed. There he to is. send you aid would leave our own domains undefended. You know this, Kalash. Who are you talking to? Undefended against what? Ours is the only domain under attack. Your charter is quite clear. Recruitment is your responsibility. You accuse me of negligence. Just how many agents are currently in your employ? That is precisely the point. Who are you talking We talk have no agents to spare. I am sorry, Kalash. Who are you talking so to? So am I, Aralax. Oh, Aralax, of course, of course. When that happens, they will come for you. Right, right, right. Then we must be ready when it comes. Aralax, out. May Jahannam swallow you whole. Oh, Jahannam, okay. Yes, of course, of course. Ah, you heard that, did you? Uh, you said we were getting overwhelmed? Certainly. No doubt. It is no secret the threats have been escalating. I had hoped to appeal for aid and fill up our ranks. Alas, we are on our own. I respect Lady Aralax, but I should have known better. Never ask a dragon for She's a dragon? There's dragons in this world? It's kind of weird that this takes place in the same universe as Blackwell. Because Blackwell, aside from, you know, the ghosts... Everything sort of felt like it was still in the real world. But now there's dragons? Jins, I can I can roll with. Fire elementals, fine. Dragons? Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh What is that crystal? Some kind of magic phone? A magic phone? I suppose that is one way of describing it. There are shards of this crystal in every branch of the unavowed. It allows us to communicate for whatever good that does. So we're like the Teen Titans, and these were like their little communicators. So like we're not all together in the same Titan Tower, but there's like those those other members that they give the little communicators to. I remember that in the show, and I was like, well, why can't they come live with us? Um... Hmm. Can we talk about the unavowed? I'd like to ask you. Uh, did I hear that right? You're speaking to a dragon? A dragon at the head of the Dublin branch of the unavowed. Yes. She is old. Stuck in her ways. I suppose the same could be said of So is she like a, a full big dragon? Just like talking into a little crystal like that? How does she even go about solving crimes if she's a full dragon? How does she get around? Uh, about last night. Not now. My opinion will be given during the meeting. All right, fine. Then let's give let's call the meeting. Yes, duty calls. All right, everyone. I have appealed once more for aid. It has been rejected. Damn. Huh? This is my surprised face. Why do you bother with those cowards, Father? Show some respect. They are correct. Stubborn. Respect those dragons. Come on. Get this dragon out of here. Uh, why won't they help us? Aren't we on the same team? Only to a degree. The rules are clear. Each branch is responsible for its own defense and recruitment. In this respect, I have been negligent. So have all the branches, Father. A sudden rise in threats would have caught any city unprepared. And where that city? Lucky us. Lucky us. I shall appeal again, rest assured. In the meantime, let us go over last night's events. Yeah, we gotta do that. This will be a good catch up. Uh, could could have been cleaner. 
That is to be determined. Daughter, I trust you have recuperated from your ordeal with the fire elemental. I have. There do not appear to be any other ill effects. So you aren't entirely positive. I took all the necessary precautions. Are we ever going to find out if he made it to the to the flame positive. elemental realm? I, to I want to know where he However, went. I am deeply concerned that this mundane was able to acquire such a powerful spell in the first place. It's not my fault. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. It was the demon, not me. Yes, but why? Why would a demon do such a thing? I don't know. Why do demons do anything? Exactly. To create havoc, obviously. Why else? No. This was too focused, too targeted. We are not dealing with a mindless spirit bent on chaos and destruction. This demon had a plan, a purpose. We need to learn what it was. I can do that. We'll do that. Uh It ruined my life. That's all I know. Well, if it's payback you want, you might be able to get it. Ah, I know that look. You did as I asked, Mage Beckett? Yes, I did. Sir. Is this I might work. <sighs> I might see if I can get the voices to go up a little bit higher after this conversation. Oh, the ritual knife. I did a oh, the knife, of course. On it. Yeah. Uh, what'd you find? Hold on, I'm getting to that. The knife was imbued with a very specific energy signature. Your demon's energy, to be precise. <laughs> it's connected to you. Well, yeah, I was using it. I mean, the demon was using it. only one who could use it properly. Which means we can track it. Oh, hugger, you wanna you wanna bet that the the gin is is Matthew Mercer five dollars? Okay, I'll bet you. Um, do we know where the demon is? Um, no, not exactly. The demon's out of your body now. Its energy signature has changed. I can only track where it's been when it was in your body. Hmm. So where did the demon take me? It was busy. I'll say that much. It was all over the map. I'm trying to narrow it down to the areas of greatest activity, but it's slow going. So far, the scan's got you pegged in two places. The Bronx, around Gun Hill Station, and Staten Island, by the ferry terminal. Huh, all right. The Bronx. I hope I don't run into one of my old customers. Uh, but I got the veil so they can't see me, right? Like, they, they think I look like someone else? The veil should take yeah, care right. of that. Yeah, right. Don't worry. Very well. Check both areas for void activity and any sign of the demon. We'll show those idiots on the council what New York is made of. All right. Let's go. Thank you for the bits, Hugger Knot. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you give me those bits because of the bet? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, let me turn... I'm gonna turn the OBS up a little bit. And then I'll turn down everything else aside from the voices again. Okay, that should be good. Alright, let's save again. Alright, so let's see how the voices are now. The hour grows late. And the trail grows cold. Is that better? The Bronx and Staten Island? <sighs> Good thing I refilled my Metro card last week. Is that too loud? I don't want them to be louder than my voice. I'm the star. Me. All right. I might turn down the... Uh, Eli, you are tapping the edge of your book. I might turn this down a little bit more. I am? Yes, it is quite aggressive. It's louder than... All right, then... Huh. Mine must have wandered. Sorry about that. I'll stop. All right, there we go. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow, we got a lot of destinations for this mission. Uh, I guess we'll head to... Alice Astor Place Station. Oh, wait, we've been here. This is from the last place. Can we go back and see anything new? This dude. This dude's a terrible cop. Actually, well, now I'm looking at OBS. Fuck, man. 
It's it's tough to get a good level for He's this. He's told us everything we need to know. Yeah, but maybe I just wanted to check on him. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to do here. I'm curious if this guy made it back to his his homeland or his new homeland, I guess. Are you still out here? Man, I love this music. They always do this like city jazzy music so well. These games always have fucking awesome atmosphere. All right, well then I guess this is not where we want to go. If I recall correctly, in the Blackwell games, previous locations you'd been to always stay on your map, so that's probably why we can just go back here. Do you think Nishanti still lives here? I hope so, because I want to see Moti. I want to see him. All right, let's go to Gun Hill Station in the Bronx. Oh shit, I'm gonna like this dude. What's this dude's name? Place your bets. I have not been to this area since the 70s. It was a dangerous place to be in those days. Evening, folks. All right. Hmm. Lousy night to be out, huh? Oh, damn, doesn't bother me much. Not as long as I have my jitter juice here. Uh, has anything strange happened in this area recently? I work the subway, man. I see five strange things before noon. You're gonna need to be a lot more specific than that. Thanks, see ya. Stay dry out there. All right. A vile stench wafts from these tattered trash bags. Hmm. Then I guess oh, we can go either way. Let's go this way. Have I ever played Primordia? No, I haven't. Is this what the old days were like? The a half crumpled brick. Wait. Let me... You know what I mean. Oh, I guess Going I can just take that. Every day, a new. Hey, hold up. What? What's wrong? That's a residential area. We can't just go wandering around without knowing where we're going. Okay. Indeed. The veil renders us unrecognizable, not invisible. We must gather more information before venturing forth. They used actual clips from New York City trains. Oh, really, did they? That's pretty cool. Oh, was that poster? Is this from a different Wadged Eye game? Is this Primordia? Well, I guess I took the brick. Oh, no. The dimensional that's screen. Really it. I'm screwed. And this is kind of weird. Why am I telling you all this? It's, is this the demon? You need to talk to someone. It happened. I happen to be here. <laughs> you got that right. Too bad talking doesn't solve anything. I just don't know what to do. I knew that room at the Eddings house was too good to be true. I knew it. You need to be more proactive about fixing your problem. Hey, I'm all about proactive. You don't keep a GPA like mine without being proactive. What do you suggest? You need to get a bit creative. Maybe we should bring a pillow along next time. Hush, he's waking up. Anyone got any aspirin? Wait a minute. Hold on, this might take a sec. Ah, oh, man. This might take a minute. Hold on. Really, really need your patience for a moment. Uh, where is it? Uh. Hmm. I don't know. I never know where I save this thing. Never know where I save it. It's got to be in downloads, right? That's where I put it, I think. No, no, program files. No, where that? Where did I put this? Is it? No, it's not that. Oh, man. It's, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Mike, we all know what... Yeah, you all know what I'm doing. <sighs> I don't know where I saved this thing. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Never mind. Just pretend I played it at a laugh track after I said anyone got any aspirin. Uh, no. I don't think that would help with demon flashback visions in any case. You seem okay. Uh, hmm. I abandoned the bit. It was going to take too long. 
bit abandoned. Uh, my body's adjusting to demon visions. Great. A body can adjust to anything if it needs to. Heck, I've got fire magic in my blood. What did the woman in the vision say? The Eddings house? It's something to go on. I guess. We've achieved more with much less. Let's get moving then. All right. Public payphones never work. Fruit and vegetables crowd the displays of this empty convenience store. Man, the fucking rain and stuff, it's awesome. I wonder if we can... I wonder if that area is like a residential place. Hey, yeah, no, that's not yet. Must... Not yet. He calls it fire I magic. I don't think we're finished. Oh, wait, was there a way I could have gone over there? The music is good. How long have I been streaming this? Tonight? Uh, not very long. Only like 20 minutes. Um, hold on. I haven't like talked to yes. them at all either. The woman in your vision referred to the Eddings house. Hmm. Feels really strange to be back in the Bronx, especially after what happened. Yes, I imagine it would. You did not exactly leave under pleasant circumstances. Regardless, we are here to do some good. In some small way, that may help. All right. Well then, let's uh Natu Let's go ask the the subway dude if he knows anything about the Eddings house. Evening, folks. Uh, do you know where the Eddings place is? Now, why would you be asking about that? Uh I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? You look upset. That's a bartender exclusive line. Oh, don't be sorry. It's just nasty business is all. It's at the end of Morgan Ave, just west of here. Okay, thanks very much. Sure, you be careful out there. All right. Well, let's head west of here then. Let's go. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. Cute place. Pretty typical as these things go. Judging, I would recommend not trying to lift that. You are of no value to us if you strain your back. Oh, come on now. I want you are you not even gonna let me try? Um, let's check the mailbox. What would happen if you didn't pick bartender? You actually you just can't progress through the game. It's soft locked. locks. No surprise there. He said lock at the same time I said lock. That wasn't planned at all. At all. Oh shit. <gasps> I thought it was going to say help. Who's in there? Well, that is curious. What are they writing? Well, we need a house. help. <gasps> Don't be absurd. The window is talking, not the house. Please. Right. My mistake. Who's, who needs help? Get in here. Doesn't work. All right, break the window. Oh, this, you're, you're okay. You are the window, though. This is gonna kill you. Come on, just break it, okay? <laughs> if you're sure, you're not gonna consult with them. All right. <laughs> Keep your shoulders down and center your weight on your feet. Michael, you suck. <laughs> Eat OMG. <laughs> the fucking window. <laughs> OMG at the fucking pitiful throw. You lack the necessary arm strength to hit your target. To be fair, he has been possessed for a year. I doubt the demon spent time at the gym. You lack the necessary arm strength as well, Eli. <sighs> I know. Okay, can you do it then, Mandara? Maybe I have to give it to her. She trains with a sword every day. Here, you do it. Understood. This should not pose a difficulty. Go. You got it. Bingo. Bullseye. It was two inches left of center, but close enough. All right, okay. 
Don't be a show off. We're going in. Let me. Oh boy. Hi, you made it. This is kind of cool. Uh. Oh, this music's nice too. What's going on here? You're talking to a ghost. Woo. <laughs> uh, woo, your, woo yourself. What are you doing here? <laughs> Waiting for help. Please hurry. Go this way. This is such a cool game. I really like this. The note reads, please don't touch the quinoa. Bright and garish tea, tea towels. Hmm. I guess we'll go that way. Screwdriver. Got it. Oven mitts are quite colorful. I have oven mitts with kittens on them. That's just some, some background lore for me. An old phone. The line is dead. Uh-oh. Boo. Very funny. I know. Quick. You can unlock the door from this side. Okay, a picture of a face splattered with something that is probably red paint. I don't even think this is a ghost. Do I know this character? This character wasn't in Blackwell, was she? No, I don't think so. I just saw a dog and I was like, Moti! But it wasn't Moti. Moti was not a beagle. You know who that is? It's Wishbone. Alright. Come on in, fellas. There you are. I heard you talking. Is someone in there? Perhaps we should enter and see for ourselves. Okay, let's go. Hi, guys. You made it. The time for games is over. Identify yourself. Alright, don't be rude. I'm KK. Slider? KK's a ghost, apparently. Ooh. <laughs> really? You don't act like any ghost I've ever seen. That's because I'm special. All right. I'm a spirit guy. A Wait, KK the troll? You mean you're bound to a spirit medium? One close- Wait! Yes, he's upstairs. He needs help. Wait a minute. Remember KK the troll? From from Blackwell? Wait. Hold. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, this better not be Joey up here. This better not be fucking Joey. I will lose my mind. Who goes there? Mandy, it's just a plastic hula dancer. Yes. Of course it is. Apologies. I am on edge. There is a dark energy here that makes me uneasy. End of the hall. Hurry. This is a prank. But Joey, she's talking about a spirit guide. Not a, not a ghost. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. That's not Joey. Courage to change the things I can. And wisdom. To know the difference. Who is this dude? That's not Joey, unless he... Unless he shaved his head and grew a goatee. That isn't helping. Uh... Living one day at Logan? a time... Logan? Is that you? Oh shit, that's the... No. No way that's you. I'm hallucinating from Yo, Hunter. that's his friend! Where the hell have you been, man? I've been worried about you. That's like from, from before. He didn't kill this guy, I guess. He's a bestower? I've been, uh, possessed. 
worried. Aren't you a little upset that I know, you know, killed your brother? Upset? Of course I'm upset. He was my brother. But I know you didn't kill him. Not really. Something possessed you. It wasn't your fault. Wait, you know about that? Uh, yeah. Look, it's complicated. Someone told me. Someone who was there. It's too much to get into right now. Who are your friends? I'm Eli Beckett. This is Mandana. My name's Logan Brown. I used to buy too many drinks from your friend here. And now, I can really use some help. Uh... This house is haunted, isn't it? You know about that? We can see the ghosts behind you. Hold on. You... you can see them. Like, actually see them. Well, sure. Kind of. Ghosts all look the same, don't they? Just what do you mean? Yeah, he can probably make out, like, what they actually look like, but we just see, like, formless blobs, I guess. Um, we don't see any human features. What are you seeing exactly? I see people. Two women, one man. They're confused and angry. Not exactly easy to talk yeah, to. I know. Let me see if I understand. You can see these spirits, and you can talk to them. Right. Yeah. But they're confused. I see. You are the one KK told us about. The bestower. Yeah, uh, that's me. You know your stuff. You're here to help these ghosts pass on. Right. That's right. Only things went a bit wrong. He didn't have the tie. He didn't have a mat. He doesn't have a magic tie. That's the problem. Tell us what happened. Crap. Easy. Easy now. Shh. Just relax. Okay. She's calm. For now. What? I kind of need to focus. Can you help me or what? Um... What do you need us to do? Back to taking my order, huh? Just like the old days. I need to know their names. Is the best way to get through to them. Can you do that? Figure out their names? Uh... Can't you ask them yourself? I've tried. They won't listen to me. Well, how am I- Which is why I need their names. I'm sure there are clues and things around the house. I'd go myself. But I'm kind of trapped. Oh, okay. I see. Got it. We'll be right Thanks. back. Ghosts can't hear us. All right. Well, then let's go. St All right. KK. We got to find out the identity of these other ghosts. Oh, shit. A post-it note has the words, buy earplugs, written in very hard, angry letters metal trash can it looks to be full of ashes hmm. from the consistency it looks like notebook paper or at least it was hmm northeastern pike image of oppressive suburbia uh, bookcase full of dry textbooks a few dog-eared romance novels uh huh picture of an adorable kitty Hmm. Hmm. Can I use, uh, could you do something with the ashes, maybe? Something was burned in there for sure. They can do yeah, 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 that, you can do fire reading. What it was. But let's do it outside. Don't want to burn the house down. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Let's do some fire reading. Well, actually, let's explore the rest of the house first. Yeah, KK's the spirit guide, so, like, KK can, like, do things that regular ghosts can't. Um, cozy bed, comfortable uh, chair. This is a very cozy room. Some clothes, a beat up doll, a ripped up umbrella. Nope, nothing we need in here. Uh, what about this? Heavy wooden closet. Oh wait, that's just the closet. Uh, huh. Yeah, it's weird that KK's able to write on the windows. Jo All Joey could do was blow on things. That's why they call him old Blowy Joey. Um, hmm. All right, well, let's let's go do the, the fire reading stuff. Remember when he when he blowed on the moose? How do where are we? Where do you want to do this? Um. Maybe the back of the house?
Where do you, where, where should we? Um, not sure. Hmm, I wonder how I get him to do that. Maybe I can just talk to him. What's up? Uh, can you do the fire reading for me? Don't see why not. What do you have in mind? But it's raining! Can you see what was burnt in the trash can? Sure, just a sec. August 22nd, moving day, a bit far from campus, but it's mine. Art and Jess seem like an okay couple. Artists, uh, artists, I think. Yeah, because his name is Art. They're renting this room out for uh, what my dad would have called a song. Oh, dad, I miss you so much. Taking a full load of courses this semester. Can't lose my scholarship after all that's happened. Decided to keep this journal to keep myself focused. Keeping old... Arabelle up on the shelf for inspiration. She's looking a little threadbare these days. That must be the doll we saw in the closet. Uh, Jess offered me a hit off a bong this morning at breakfast! Didn't realize they were such major potheads. Their dog named Mary Jane should have been my first clue. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I swear Jess dotes more on that dog than she would her own kid. September 17th. The Eddings are out, I think it's Eddings, right? Not Eatings, yeah. Eddings are out uh, at some artist gallery opening thing. That dog outside my bedroom door barking and whining while I'm trying to study biochem. Should I let her in? This is my Dana's studying hour. But hey, cute dog. All right, her name is Dana. My physics textbook now smells like dog piss. Stupid dog, I had to drag her out by the collar. Now she's howling outside my door. I'm blaring music, but it's not enough. I need quiet, I need to focus. Art and Jess came home. They are both high as hell. The dog shut up and became a perfect little angel. What the fuck? I think I know why this room was so cheap. September 18th, told Jess what happened. She just shook her head. She tells me that my room is where the dog used to sleep and is probably just a little upset. Yeah, that makes two of us. September 19th. Art and Jess are out again, left in that clunker car with that oh-so-clever cl uh, vanity license plate that Art loves so much. That barking rat is outside my door again, scratching and howling. This is impossible. I only just started my coursework, and I'm already behind. September 24th. Fuck. Fuck. That mutt got in here. Don't ask me how. She got a hold of Arabelle and peed on her, then chewed her arm off. 19 years I've had that doll, and she didn't get a scratch. She couldn't last three weeks in this stupid house. Art... Wow, this fucking sucks, Dana. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, Art is too toked up to care. Jess seems sorry. It's hard to tell if she, uh, it's her or the weed. She said she'll sew the arm back on for me. Maybe she's not so bad. October 3rd. I want to scream. Arabelle is still in pieces. The dog keeps barking whenever they go out. Haven't been able to study at all. I can't stay here, but I can't afford anywhere else. I can't lose my scholarship. What the hell am I going to do? Dad, I'm so sorry. October 23rd. I met this strange person on the bus today. I don't know why, but I ended up spilling my guts. I told something. Something I can't put it in writing, but now I know what to do. It's finally perfectly clear. Listen up, reefer dog. My GPA isn't going down. You are. Oh, shit. That's the woman that, that my, the demon must have talked to. He told her to kill the dog. Did you kill the dog? Did Pykel's demon tell you to kill the dog? Oh, shit. All right, well, at least we know her name is Dana. Maybe I can use the screwdriver on this. Perhaps. Oh wait, hold on. What about you? Can you use your sword? Levering that door open would require more strength than I. But you could throw the brick. Yeah, I bet the dog is buried under the roses. The dog was a pothead. What if KK is the dog? KK the troll. All right. Well, we learned one of their names. Um. Hmm. Uh, oh, maybe, I guess these could be Art and Jess, too. I figured that Dana might have just killed the... All right, yeah, let's, sure? let's, yeah try. let's try that. Are those your names? Art? Jess? Dana? Art? Jess? Dana? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, the no. The ghosts! They're... 
No. They're no. fusing. Please, there's no need for this. They're becoming a super Art, ghost. Dana, Jess, just relax, fellas. Please, relax. That was close. <sighs> close? Close? Those ghosts went geist. Geist? Poltergeist. It's what you get when ghosts go bad. Like, really, really bad. But I've only read about them in books. It doesn't actually happen. At least, it shouldn't. Not anymore. Well, it happens now. These ghosts attacked us. They tried to tear KK apart. Holy shit. We barely shit. got the circle up in time. You need to tell us what's going on. Yeah, you gotta tell us. Fine. I think I've got things under control. Oh, thank you, you very much for the host, Joel. Ask him now. Thank you very, very much. We're playing uh, Unavowed. It's like a it's like a supernatural point-and-click uh, mystery game. And it's pretty fucking cool so far. I'm really, really liking it. Um, but it's it's definitely like a more slow-paced stream, and it's not like super funny or anything. But yeah, thank you for the host. Um, yo, uh, sit tight, Logan. Wait, well, I don't want to come back yet. I want to see what else he's got to say. Uh... How long, have he, how long has he even been here? He made that circle next to the toilet on purpose. Two or three days, maybe? Yeah, exactly. I had some energy bars in my pocket. They got me through the worst of uh -huh. it. But yeah, won't be long before my shoes start to look very tasty. <laughs> uh, why couldn't we see KK outside? She's a spirit guide, not a pure ghost. Different rules. KK and I are bonded at the soul. Only I can see her. It's the way it's always been. Hmm. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it worked in the old games. Uh, what's a circle you're standing? Isn't that... Didn't the priest make one of these circles in Blackwell, too? Oh, this? KK taught me how to make it. Ghosts can't cross it. Not just ghosts. It keeps out any spiritual energy. I've got something similar in my lab. Hmm. You do? Sure. When you're experimenting with unstable magic, it's smart to be behind a protection circle. But it took me weeks to prepare. You're telling me that you whipped this up on the spot? Me? I just drew the circle. It was KK who turned it on. Amazing. You both must be incredibly powerful. Of course, of course, of course. One day at a time, or we would, if we weren't stuck here. All right, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. What happened, Logan? What happened? Like I said, we came here to put these ghosts to rest. Usually it doesn't take much. We talk to them a bit, learn who they are, try and get through to them. But these three, they got violent. Oh. Boy, they went after KK, tried to rip her to shreds. Poor kid was terrified. Logan used kid? the circle to She's keep up the, the fucking sea bear Jesus, circle. <laughs> Last time I saw her, him. Yeah. Put the circle up. It calmed them down long enough for her to escape. Okay. We've been separated ever since. All right. If she comes in here, the ghosts attack her. I leave the circle, the ghosts attack me. So, you see my dilemma here. Yeah. You couldn't call anyone. All the spiritual energy screws with my phone, but even still, I couldn't bring anyone else in here. Too dangerous. Hmm. So what, what can, what can, how can we help? I don't know. With other ghosts, KK does most of the talking. Ghosts relate to her more, being a ghost herself. But I'm on my own this time. These three won't listen to me. They're just so angry. So I hope you guys have some ideas. Because I'm out. Well, like I said, geists don't just appear. Something happened. Something related to their deaths. Hmm. If we can figure that out, maybe we can help them. So we investigate. All right. It's our specialty. All right. Uh, how do you usually help a ghost move on? I kind of want to know this because I want to hear how he does it. It depends. Usually we talk to them, convince them they are actually dead. Yeah, that's how Sometimes it works. Sometimes an object works, something that they are attached to, something that reminds them of who they are. Uh-huh. Uh... Like I said, usually we talk to them. Sometimes an object... All right, we'll be back. Okay, maybe the doll. The doll might help. Um, yeah, it's it's cool to see, like, a bestower do their work from, like, another perspective. I think this might be KK the troll. I mean, it could just be another character named KK, but, like... Uh-oh. Oh, no. The demon... I, the demon I've realm. I've never done this before. Nothing like this before. I mean, I love my wife. I do. Art. Yo, this is Art. Check out that ass on Art. Look at that. Ridiculous. Alright, so this is back when my character was possessed, I'd assume. I want this, Art. But if you don't, I understand. Wait a minute. No, I... 
I want this too. Wait, what? I've been unsure of many things, but not this. Why is that? Are you going to cheat? Are you going to get him to cheat on his wife with you? This demon is causing adultery. Don't question it. Just live it. Yes, that's exactly it. And after tonight, you'll be gone, but I'll keep a memento, just like you asked. Oh, shit. I'm glad you will remember me. I have a hiding space in the garage. Nobody will ever find it under my heart rate. What? It will be for me and me alone. And you, if you ever come back. Just look in the mailbox. The garage opener is hidden in there, taped to the inside where it's hard to see. Now, where were we? Holy shit. Wait, can That's they can they see well, my visions? Yeah. I Can we not talk about this? This isn't something we can sweep under the rug. I get that this is hard, and I'm sorry, but we need to focus. You didn't do anything. Remember that. What your demon did here was no accident. It had a reason, a plan. We need to learn what it was. Why, okay. Why would the demon make this dude cheat on his wife with with him with the demon what what possible reasoning could a demon have for that i'll process this later let's keep Take looking around time. maybe the demon was just horny i mean demons are often horny as we know horny horniness is the devil but this demon is like conniving and he does a bunch of evil shit what what could his goal have been Ah. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Did we look at this? I don't think I can take that. I don't know. I wonder what his his mission was. Oh, item received poem. For Mary Jane, may the roses that bloom from your beloved shell be as sweet and full of joy as the beautiful soul that left Oh god, that's so sad. All right, yeah, the dog is definitely buried beneath the roses. Ghost wants to get his dick wet. But it's not even his dick! He stole that dick! I know everything, Dana. Oh, shit. That's crazy. You're crazy. I wouldn't do that. This man told me everything. What man? Pykel. You. Surprise! Yo, this, this demon is an asshole. But why? You're the one who told me to do it. Uh, talking is what? Oh, wait. I didn't tell you anything, Dana. Why are you lying? You gave me instructions. A list of things to buy. So you admit it. You poisoned my dog. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Yes. I killed your fucking dog. It was destroying my GPA. You don't just kill a Honestly, dog. I mention Arabelle. Is that what this is about? Your little rag doll? You promised to fix her months ago. She's been in your closet ever since, just collecting dust. So kick me out. Call the cops. I don't care anymore. I'm done. Kill her. <laughs> Wait, okay. That is a little bit too much of a Humphrey voice. What's a good demon voice? What about the, the voice from Doom 2016? Kill her, Jess. She deserves nothing less. Yes, Dana. You deserve to die for this. What? You killed my friend. <laughs> it was just a nice, dog. nice reference to him. fucking Crooked Man. You killed my friend. <laughs> Great reference. You killed Murdered my friend. A suggestion, a classic demon ploy, if there ever was one. Even so, a murder should not create a poltergeist. More investigation is needed. Let's get back to it, then. I may be a kid, but you are dead! Fucking, I admit, is the fourth one of those games out yet? Or the fifth, whatever one they're on? Because I still gotta do it. I gotta do it, huh? Alright, so there should be a key in here. Huh. Taped to the side of a mailbox. Clever. Hmm. Would never have seen it if we didn't know it was there. Alright, cool. Do you think Crooked Man and Blackwell are all... Yeah, Crooked Man's probably in the same universe, too. Alright, let's see. 
You sure there are batteries in that thing? God damn it. Hmm. Can we dig up the dog? We probably need a shovel. You have a sword, right? We could use that. Could you... I fail to see how I... All right, what about you? Um... You could burn the ground. Uh, hmm... Dig up the dog, he ate the batteries. Honestly? They poisoned the dog. <laughs> like, the batteries aren't a thing you want to eat. Do you like the number 10? I'm, I'm somewhat fond of the number 10. Why? It's a great number. That was one of the weirder questions I've ever gotten. Do you like the number 10? I've never really thought about... You know what? I've never really thought about how much I like certain numbers. This game is wild. It's awesome. Hmm. Let's see. Top 10 numbers. Number 10. Oh shit, he did 10 gift subs. Verm, thank you very, very much. Thank you, I appreciate that a lot. That's very, very kind of you. Oh, what's up, Joel? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus, thank you, though. I really appreciate it. Okay, listen, bro. Listen, Logan. What's the story? What's the story? This, one of these ladies poisoned a damn dog. That's what happened. Dana killed Ed the Edding's dog. Seriously? Yes. Dana. Is this true? Did you kill the family dog? Yes. Okay. She said okay. yes. She's denying it. She, she says she had no reason to do that. Yes. She's she, not lying. She was mentally forced into doing it. I see. In that case, the best way to reach her is with something physical. Something she's got a strong attachment to. There's got to be something like that around here somewhere. I got the doll. Let me go. Hold on. There's a, there's a lot of things we need to do in this house. We have to dig up that dog. Wait, we, yes. Top 10 numbers. Number 10. That's the whole, that's it. Uh, Art, um, cheated on his wife. He did? Yep. With the demon. Art, did you have an affair? Oh! Okay. Shh. Relax. <laughs> not accusing you of anything. You just, <laughs> sort of. He says he loves his wife. That's sort of accusatory. That may, we know the truth of it. He's not lying. Top exactly. Ted Dubbers. Number 10. Death can cloud Ted. Put you in denial. Number 9. We need something physical. 8. Something more than words. Number 8. Find something like that. 9. Maybe we can get through to him. Okay. Uh, good to see you again, Logan. Right back at you. Who'd have thought we'd end up here? But we can catch up later. You know. After you save my butt. Uh, just killed Dana with a Jess killed Dana with a with a knife to avenge her dog. Jesus. <laughs> Jess, is that true? You killed Dana because she killed your dog? Uh, I'm sorry, but it's true. Okay. Okay. Never mind. She's fine. She's denying all of it. She's saying her dog isn't dead. It is dead. Do you have any evidence that the dog is dead? We gotta, we gotta fucking dig Find me something like that, and maybe we can get through to her. I usually don't like this type of game, but this one's interesting. Honestly, check like check out the Wadget Eye games. They're all fucking great. They really, really are. Um, yeah, the poem I guess could work. Hold on. Believe. Yeah, the poem is is a is proof. Oh, you can't show it to them though. For some reason, like the items that are like paper that you can read you can't actually use so i think we're gonna have to take up the dog that's the only thing i could think of wadget eye needs more recognition i agree a hundred percent these guys are great the blackwell series is fucking awesome so is kk like a goblin desert what part of kk the troll do you not understand trolls and goblins are completely different entities oh, here, here we go digging digging in again she trolls people online. Oh, Yaki, thank you for the gift sub. Joey for Smash. Joey for Smash. 
Uh, we gotta find a shovel or something then, right? A heavy wooden closet. Is there anything left in here? Some clothes, a beat up doll. I still think that South American Goblin video was real. It is real! 100%! Are you kidding me? It's absolutely real. An old doll. Dana mentioned an old doll in my vision. Guess it can't hurt to grab it. But they, the dog pissed on it. Eli, you gotta carry it. It's got dog piss in it. Soaked up in it. Alright, hold on. Listen, okay. We've been over this, but I will show I will show it again. Just in case you, you're not aware. Goblin sighting. Images. Can I get an animated Can I get an animated GIF? Can I get an animated GIF of it? Alright, well we'll just find the video then. Uh here it is. Goblin caught on camera. As mum films baby. Here we go. Here we go. Now watch closely. We just showed this recently. But this is very real. This is 100% real. No te puedes. Búscala. Que te ayude. There it is! That's real! How would they fake that? Look it, it's got a shadow and everything. Human Ken doll R. Family of missing. No, 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 no. It's real though. It's 100% real. How would they have faked that? It's not possible. It's not possible. There's a, we Technology does not exist to create something so real at this point. Uh... It's not possible. What's the story? Uh... Hold on. Believe me. Check the pixels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, here's... here's look, this is a better look at it. This is a better look at it. We need to get back to this game, but, like, right now... It's real. It's real. That's one hundred percent real. Look at it. It's like a. It, it's got to be a baby, right? It's so small. But yeah, you can clearly you can make out pointed ears, very very slightly. I'm wondering if it's also. It, do you think it, it looks like it might be wearing some primitive clothing? It's full grown. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think full-grown goblins are probably bigger than that. It just disappears, too. Maybe it used some form of magic. Live sighting of Toaster Man. Toaster Man, you can't say that about yourself! <laughs> Why are you suddenly... Yeah, well, because it's, it's interesting. This is like the third time that this goblin has been brought up in the last couple weeks. Alright. We gotta find batteries. I keep batteries in a little drawer in my kitchen. Michael, look, another video. I can't do this right now. This is a metal alien dancing. This isn't another goblin. I don't have time for this. It's Stuart Little. I still think Stuart Little is like the most fucked up concept in the universe. Can you imagine being like a, a little kid, very excited because your parents are going to fucking adopt a brother for you and they come home with a rat? They come home with a rat named Stuart. Hmm. Wonder where I could find batteries. Toaster Man has been at too many at every too many games. He's just too small to see. Uh. Are there batteries in the clock? Oh, that could that could be it. Hold on. Yeah, maybe we can take the batteries out of something else. I was thinking there might be like a container for them, but wait, what's anything else to, to click on in here? Hold on. The farther Joshua gets from California, the smaller he gets. 
Hold on. There's gotta be... I'm, batteries are, like, what I'm mainly looking for, but... Alright. Maybe we should do this one step at a time. Let's show the doll to the to them first. Could the batteries be in the quinoa? Alright, hold on. Um, a doll? Why are you showing me you that? You should touch it. Touch the doll. It's covered in... Wait, well, I can't tell him until he touches it. He's gonna be like, wait, this doll... Wait, this is covered in piss! It belonged to Dana, one of the ghosts. An old toy. Let me see. Get the batteries from the hula girl. Dana, is this yours? Aren't they usually like solar powered or motion You're powered? A bell, huh? That's a nice name. Oh, I see. Dogs will do that sometimes. I'm sorry. Yep. But why did you do that? There was no need for that. Oh! I. No. I can't judge you. That's not my department. If you really want to move on from this. You need to make it right. Asking forgiveness, yeah. Doesn't matter if you get it. It's just important you ask. Just think about it, okay? Just think about it. Oh shit. That one calmed down. Yeah. Just have a little think. That did it. She's aware. She's ready. Okay. Ready? Ready to move, ready to move on. on. Once we calm down all three ghosts, KK and I can do our thing. Okay. But for now, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, this is really cool. This is cool because it's like, why are these guys talking so casually? Because this is, they're, they're used to this. They're used to it. And don't call them fart ghosts, please. Um, hmm. Once you calm down all three ghosts, I'll give you my secret egg. Uh, who, yeah, maybe the hula... Tacky hula dance screwdriver on hula dancer. I'm not sure what you're trying to do. Getting there. the batteries out of it, ya dungus. See? J plus A all because of their names. Now, I think it's unfair for this game to call this tacky. Because I think this is very classy. Alright, well let's use the screwdriver. Give me that. All right, well, now we got a battery, so we can put it in the remote. Bingo. Now we can go open the garage, get whatever's in there. All right. Bingo. It was just a dang car. All right, what's in here? Yo! Yo! Herb is the healing... What does that say? Herb is the healing of the nation. Bob Marley. Hell yeah. Oh, there's the shovel. God damn it. Just like Bob Marley said, no woman, no cry. The license plate reads art rate. Uh, I don't think you're gonna pull that off with your bare hands. I could if I if I could. Maybe a screwdriver. Ew. Is something wrong? Uh, there's a picture underneath the license plate. Take a look. Oh. It is tastefully done. Oh no! At the very least. Wait a minute. Madonna, really? Is it him is naked? It Fuck! They took a picture of him when he was possessed by the demon, and he's- it was- <laughs> he was naked! Unless it's a picture of them actually engaging in intercourse. I was possessed. That's right. Just keep reminding yourself I, that. We need to see this picture. No, we need to see it. Set it on fire, Eli. I don't think that's a good idea. This photo was hidden here. Number 11, demon dick pic. The following image was found underneath a license plate on Staten Island. Actually, I don't think... We're in the Bronx, right? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, you can't examine it. But you can barely see the thumbnail. You can see the thumbnail. All right, so not only... All right, listen. I'm not an expert when it comes to adultery or cheating on your wife 
But if you're gonna cheat on your wife with a demon, why would you take a picture of it? Why would you take a picture of you cheating? That just doesn't seem like a very good idea. That's like a rookie mistake. He was manipulated. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably it. Because this demon made people do things. He was probably doing this on purpose to, like, ruin their lives or whatever. All right, well, let's let's go dig up the dog. Fucking hell. We're going to have to dig up the dog and bring its whole, whole ass corpse upstairs. Oh, no. Another vision. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? <gasps> Don't turn this around on me. You killed Dana. Turn it around. You slept with that man. Uh, I have a name, you know. Oh, wait. I have, I have a name, you know. Be quiet. This is your fault. His fault? Yes, I had an affair. I'm sorry, but you murdered Dana. She deserved it. She killed my Mary Jane. Jesus, are you even listening to yourself? Oh, so you can love your precious car, but loving my dog is crazy? No. Murder is what's crazy. Oh, uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Is what I does what I say here determine who's going to die? Well, they all die. They're all dead. So it doesn't matter. Uh I feel like Jess has already killed. She killed for all right, yeah, let's... You're right. You are so right. Hey, he seduced me. <laughs> he didn't have to say yes. I don't want to do this, Oh, Jess. fuck, they both it's have knives. fucking bad. <laughs> oh, no. The story grows grimmer with each telling. All right, well, it's about to get a lot grimmer because we're about to dig up this damn dog. Well, he just does it so casually. Oh, good. There's a collar. Just grab that, will ya? Well, do we just need the collar? When we return home, I recommend you bathe. Immediately. Alright, well. A dirty dog collar. At least you hope it's dirt. Mike, what if that's Frankie? He's really super dead. He's Frankie! Oh, no. I killed my wife. <laughs> I cheated on her, and then I killed her. Jesus. We can cheat on her again if you wish. <laughs> we can cheat. I can't say that with that voice. We can cheat on her again if you wish. I... Why am I so tempted? <laughs> why do I want to say yes? I am confused. So... <laughs> But she's dead. I'm going to go sit in my car for a bit. Try and think. Oh, Maybe no. Maybe I'll run the motor a little. Oh, no. Check if it's running okay. Could you make sure the garage door is closed? Bro. Sure. I know you love that car. We know they all die. All right, well, we should have everything we need now. We got the proof that the dog's dead. We got the proof that there was an affair. All right. I am the shock master. What's the story? <laughs> of course I know about the shock master. Who do you take me for? Uh... Hmm. Sit. All right. Uh, let's just use the items. Believe. No, the dude in Lisa was a reference to the Shockmaster. The Shockmaster is. Look up the Shockmaster. I can't explain the Shockmaster to you right now. Logan looks different. Oh yeah. All right. That's kind of disgusting. What are you showing me that for? It belongs to Jess's dog. They were very close. Hmm. That might work. You here. Jess, do you recognize this? Oh! 
<gasps> Mary Jane. That was her name? Yeah. Can you tell me about her? I... It, yeah. That sucks. It really, really sucks. Dana shouldn't have done that. But you can't do anything about it now. It's out of your control. <laughs> you see that, right? Art was the truck freak. Dana was the crazy ass. Art's That's wife <laughs> was the fighter. <laughs> I just need you to think about that for And a the bit. dog okay. was April. <laughs> Off. Right. I think that did it. She's calm. <laughs> She's ready. Just one more to go. Truck freak. Crazy ass. The fighter. All right. Well, you gotta take a look at this. Whoa. Uh, why are you showing this to me? I got Wait, it. Is that art? Yes. And and the demon that was inside of me. Art asked me to call him the demon. Yeah, yeah, this is proof, all right. But who's the other guy in the picture? He's kind of hard to make out. No one? No one? It doesn't matter. Okay, okay. I guess you're right. Art, did you take this picture? I thought that was funny! I'm sorry, Art, but this is you. You can't deny it. Don't ask me why you did it. That's a question only you can answer. Good. Acceptance. That's the only way forward. I get you weren't in your right mind. But it still happened. It still matters. I don't judge you one way or the other. That's not my department. Just think about that. Can you do that for me? Please? Okay. Good. There we go. Just hang tight, Art. And I'm sorry. I think that did it. He's ready. All right, they're all ready. Okay. That's the last of them. Good. Here goes everything. All right. They're, they're not attacking. Whew. Guys? Oh, thank God. KK, get in here. It's safe. God, it's good to see you. Wait, why you can KK open doors? Sorry. That's Mandana, and that's... Wait, duh. You guys can't see KK, can you? No. We sort of met. Nice to see you again, KK. <laughs> You're kind of facing the wrong way. Uh, now she's on your other side. She has pa no, Joey couldn't! Okay. Stop messing around. Anyway, there's just one more thing I need to do. Then I'm going out to eat about a dozen steaks. I feel that, hey, dude. Hey guys, Dana, Art, Jess, I want you to meet my friend. Her name's KK. I know you all have had a rough few months, but it's almost over. Okay. Just take her hand, okay? One at a time. Oh, we don't get to see it. I guess that... Ugh. Jesus Christ. I feel almost human again. Almost makes me... Never mind. You know, you can talk to me, Logan. You always could. Never did it sober, though. It's different now. I would have died in there if you hadn't shown up. There's nothing, Logan. It's our job. That's not what I'm getting at. You guys... You... Do this all the time? More than we used to, for sure. I'd like to join you. Yo, new party KK member! Too, obviously. Is that possible? We don't want to be caught like that ever again. Uh, I've known him for years. I can vouch for him. To be fair, I wasn't exactly the same back in those I days. I miss Joey, too. You more than proved yourself, Logan. I welcome you. Father will not like it, but that can be dealt with. Um, why is that? He often says that death is part of the mundane world, and we should not get involved. But after what we saw tonight, perhaps we should review that sentiment. Uh, sweet. I'm not the new kid anymore. Well, this new kid needs his beauty sleep. I'm dead on my feet. Do you have a place to stay, Logan? I've got a place in the neighborhood. Great. You go home and get some sleep. We'll meet up first thing in the morning. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, that's fucking cool. Nice. Oh shit, what's that? What? Nani? Hmm. Yo, I hope... Well, what if my character, like, becomes a bestower? That would be sick. Yo, that'd be sick. Yo, did you see that ghost? There was a wisp. Please do not disturb those. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you see? You are awake. Good. 
I have a question of a personal nature. I hope you'll answer it. Um... Ask away. I appreciate you humoring me. Our missions have taken a very personal nature, at least as far as you are concerned. These visions you have seen of your demon self, could you tell me how they make you feel? Uh... I'm not sure what to think yet. I don't know how I'd feel if I saw... Like, I'd want to... Okay, here's a question. If you were possessed by a demon for a whole year, would you want to know what the demon did? If that is honestly what you feel, then Would I you can want to see that. the memories? Thank you for sharing. I will see you at the meeting. If the demon did, like, if he killed people and stuff, would you want to see that? Yes, yes. Like, okay, you know the demon killed someone, but would you want to see it? Yeah, because I'd be liable for him. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Moral quandary. Hmm. Okay, so here's... Oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Ooh. Yo, this yo, you playing Fortnite on your phone? I no, you know what he's playing? He's playing that fucking troll game. He's playing the game that KK the troll played. That's what he's playing. What was the game called? Clash of Clans. No, 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 no. There was an actual game in the Blackwell series that KK was playing. Troll Quest? It was Troll Quest. Hey, you're finally up. You guys keep some late hours around here. Although, you used to work some pretty late shifts at Sammy's, didn't you? Uh... You settling in okay? This place is... Oh, Trollgate. Well, sure <laughs> it was words. Trollgate. Either way, I'm here and I'm ready to help out. Anyway, I was told there'd be a meeting or something. Just let me know when it starts. Uh, I'd like to talk a bit first. I can do that. Uh, what are you doing with your phone? He's gonna say Trollgate. You ever hear of Trollgate? Yes! Some online game thing? KK is a little... It is the same that. KK! Oh, don't deny it, KK. You totally are. You make me play this thing every chance we get. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Role playing a pink troll in a fairy tale land, zapping goblins with magic. Okay, okay. KK says they aren't goblins. They're called Whitikins. <laughs> such a nerd. What? You are. I know I've said this like three times now, but I really, I do like seeing this dynamic from a different perspective. You know, after like five games of being in his shoes, it's cool to see like. You know, like, we can't see the ghost. You missed it earlier, but he said KK was 10. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured because people in chat were saying so, but that's it's fucking, that's cool. There's a ball of light next to you. That's no ball of light. That's KK. Seems you guys can see her. Why? Eli was saying it was because we're all linked now or something. You'd have to ask him. I couldn't understand two words of it. Um, can I ask you about KK? Is... That okay? She says it's okay. Um, all right, let's see if we can get some lore. Uh, why does she bob up and down like that? She says she doesn't know, but honestly, I think she's messing with me. Why? Because you're always messing with me. What does KK look like? Oh yeah, you only see a ball of light, right? I see a little girl, about 10 years old. I, really? You sure it's okay? Well, okay. I have a picture on my phone of what she looked like, you know. When she was alive. She says it's cool if you want to see. Uh, let's sure. see. Yep, same KK. How did KK die? Look, you never spoke to a ghost before, so you can't know this. You don't ask a ghost how they died. You just don't. It really upsets them. So, let's not do that, okay? Okay. Uh, KK was so young. I know. She was ten. How did she die? Didn't she, like, freeze 
death? What? Man, it was so long ago. I remember, like, her bedroom, and I remember how she, she was the one that played the piano, right? How did she die? She froze. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Or, or she was shot? Her mother Mercy killed- Oh, right, 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 right. They were hiding in the basement, and her mother Mercy killed her. Fuck. Those games were so intense. Oh, shit! There was just the biggest damn lightning I ever saw in my life outside my window. I hope my power doesn't go out. I forget so much of Blackwell. So do I. And I've played through the whole series, like, twice. I don't believe I gave you permission to leave. Oh, okay. All right, Adam Malkovich. No, I hear the thunder now. A bestower and spirit guide in the unavowed hall. More evidence that times are changing. Yeah, the thunder is still, it's like the same rumble it's still going um all right he talks to ghosts how is that a bad thing interesting you say that after your experiences last night bestowers deal with death mundane mortal death it is messy fraught with emotion and rarely pleasant but times are changing rapidly we must adjust in kind so shall we start the meeting uh, sure. But yeah, because there's people here who weren't here last not, last time, this is a this is like a follow-up to a, a five-game series that, that came out a while ago. Um, they're all on Steam. They're called, like, the Blackwell Games. I really recommend them. I streamed them all. They're all archived on the Archive channel, but I don't know. They're, they're great, so... Um, yeah, I recommend them very, very much. Call the meeting. Yes, it is time. Yeah, that is Pro's ED. So, you met the new guy? The bestower? Yes, I have. Did I read the report correctly? You battled three poltergeists for two days and survived. Um, I wouldn't call it battling. I just kind of sat there. Regardless, anyone else entering that house would have been killed. You being there saved lives. Well, I was where I needed to be. That's all. No doubt. However, a poltergeist should never have formed in the first place, let alone three. How did this happen? Uh, who is my demon again? Oh shit, more lightning. This is like fucking big lightning. <sighs> of course it was. The demon turned the residents against each other, then encouraged them to kill each other. Ugh. Somehow, in the midst of all that nasty, their souls got corrupted, made them go geist. But again... We return to our old question. Why? Why is the demon doing this? To what end? I admit. Yeah, that's I what I want to know. Why confused. is he doing this stuff? Have you investigated Staten Island yet? No, not yet. Then perhaps we will find our answers there. All right. What about the ghost in the village eye? Yes, a witness, albeit an unconventional one. The bestower can speak to it, whereas we cannot. Look, if it has any information for us, I'll pass it along, but my priority is helping it. Naturally. You all know your duty. Report back when you have new information. Meeting adjourned. Bye, dude. Did he just... Yeah, he's... You get used yeah. to it. Yep. All right, well... Let's go. Think about today. I love all these little nods to the past games, the though. Yet. Yeah, they, so no, they don't sorry. <laughs> He's talking to her. Huh? That's great. Nothing. KK wants me to turn on Trollgate, but there's no signal. <laughs> Kids and screens, right? Gotta set limits. Yeah, crazy, right? I don't know about that. I figure if you die, you should be allowed to play as many video games as you want. Hell yeah! I love these little conversations they have. They kind of make streaming a little less convenient because you always feel like you're interrupting something, but but they're, they're very good. They, they flesh out the characters a lot. So, Logan, is KK standing still or is she moving with the subway? What do you mean? 
She's not actually standing on the floor, right? So what's that's, keeping her? That's a good question. I mean, magic or not, that's just basic. That's a very physics. good question. I don't know. I guess physics don't really apply to dead people. What do you think, KK? Is she like actively going along with the train or is she just <laughs> What? What did she say? Oh, uh, she burped loudly. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this game. This is awesome. All right. Uh let's go please choose two pa You have to pick party members? Oh shit. I wonder how big this this squad gets. That's pretty cool. All right, well, if we need to go... Ooh, more thunder. Um, let's head to uh, here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I can see that getting kind of annoying if you accidentally don't bring the right party member with you, but... Logan? Jeez, where have you been? Uh... We missed you at the last few meetings. We've been worried. Dude, it's called Alcoholics Anonymous. For a reason. Yikes. Oh, crap. This guy Sorry. sucks. It's fine. Whatever. I'll be at the next one. Promise. Gonna hold you to that. This guy's the worst cop. He could see you through the veil. Is he void touched? What? Oh, no. I told Kalash thanks, but no thanks. It was tempting, but it didn't feel right, you know? Oh, so he's not protected by the void. People can, or veil, people can still recognize him. Um, wait, you were asked? How come I wasn't? You were a criminal oh, wanted that for makes many sense. violent crimes. It was deemed mandatory. You got a clean slate. Many people would cut off their arm for that kind of second chance. Alright, let's move on. Yeah. Yeah, this game is awesome. I really, really like it. It was absolutely worth the wait. Okay, uh, this is the village I... There's a ghost in here, and this is, if for people who weren't here last time, this is where Rosangela, the, the protagonist of the last five games, used to work. I think she worked from home, but she still worked for this company. Yeah, the ghost was in the basement. Okay, look. This is, uh, not what I expected to see down here. Alright, well, go for it, Logan. Hey, you look a bit lost. Maybe we can help. Hello? Who's that? Oh, I can hear them because I'm playing as him right now, kind of. All right. Mandana, did you hear the ghost talk? Yes. Oh, wait, never mind. Yes, I did. Perhaps some, what does he like call it, psychic spillover? The bestower's membership in our ranks has some useful side benefits. Oh, okay. All right. Shh, I see. Let me work here. What, what's, what's going, going on? on? Who are you? I'm Logan Brown. This is KK. I don't know you. You don't know me. You shouldn't be here. Uh. As, as Logan. Okay, that's neat. Okay, I see. It's a party-wide buff. If you have Logan in your party, you, you gain ghost speak. Which, uh, we're here to help. We'd like to help you, if you'd let us. Get out of here. Get out of here before they come back. I'm floating here! Uh, what's your name? Maybe if you told us your name, I could help you. I told you. You don't know me. I don't know you. Let's keep it that way. Uh, you're dead. Look, I hate to be blunt, but you're dead. Your body is right over there. No. This is a place of life, of healing. Take your lies and go. <sighs> I know, KK. That never works. Um... Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. I'm sorry. You're lying. You're trying, You're trying to make a fool of me. I'm not. I swear I'm not. You need to leave this place. What's your name? Come on, man. Tell us your name. Leave me alone. Why do I recognize that? It does sound like a familiar voice. I wonder who that is. Come on, man. Tell us your name. Leave me alone. Hmm. I don't know how to get through to this guy. I say we leave it for now. All right. Don't we have Staten Island to check out? Yeah, let's do that. I am going to be done streaming relatively soon, though, because it's been well over four hours now. Oh, fuck. 
man, this lightning is like really she bad. I've never worked with a bestower like me before. It doesn't look like it's raining, true. though. We decided long ago that the bestower's duty remained with the mundane world. Mundane? You call what I do mundane? Okay. Um, then let's head to... Please to... Oh, right. Um, we'll take these two for now, then. And then we'll go to Staten Island. Oh, shit. I almost feel like I should stop. This lightning is really fucking bad. You know what? I'm gonna stop. I know this was only an hour and a half of unavowed, but this is a good stopping point. Right. We just got to so, a new area. What are we and looking for? Straight up, this lightning is Magic, like mystery, monsters. It's really, really us. bad. I that shouldn't keep streaming with this. I'll keep my eyes peeled. You yeah. too, KK. Okay. All right. Um, because if I, if my power goes out, the recording will get all corrupted and everything, and that's always a pain in the ass. Uh. Yeah, we made some good progress. We finished a whole mission, so that was good. That's like as much progress as we made last time. And uh and we got we finished Super Metroid, so it was a good meaty stream. It was like over 4 hours too. Uh thank you for watching tonight and if you stuck around from Joel's host, thank you very much. Um I stream a lot of shit here. It's like a real it's a lot of variety stuff. Um I'm currently doing playthroughs of Unavowed, of course, Fallout 3, and um, Bloodborne, so uh, feel free to check back every night for, for one of those games and more. Um, I'm going to be replacing Super Metroid with something, because I usually like to have four games going at once. Uh, I've got a grab bag that's like almost done and almost ready to be streamed. If you want to follow me on social media, you can do so at Mike Panutes on Twitter or just regular Panutes on Tumblr. Um, I always post right before I start my streams, so that's a good way to watch live if you'd like. If you want to submit, uh, if you want to submit, if you want to submit art, just tweet it to me during the stream, and I will show it at the end. Uh, and I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see. All right, how far back do I gotta go? Uh, all right. I think this is the f the start of it. Uh, this is by Grimbuscula. This is a really really fucking awesome drawing of Ridley. Ridley gave me a lot of trouble tonight in Super Metroid. A fuck a fuckload of trouble. Uh, I died to him, like, eight times, but this is awesome. I love how, like, fucking gangly you made him. That's awesome. Really, really, really cool. Great monster design there. Uh, this is another interpretation of Ridley, this time by Dynamoto. This has a caption with it, too. Is that Ridley pissing? Desert was talking about Ridley's boss room actually being his bathroom and talked extensively about Ridley urinating and so giving me the idea... I kind of missed that. In I either missed that entire conversation or chose to ignore it subconsciously. And I feel like that was probably the second, the, 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 the latter of the two options. It's time to take a piece. <laughs> That's good, though. Uh, this is by Babylon Leviathan. Uh, these are a bunch of different, like, doodles of the logo. And it's, like, in a bunch of different styles. Look at the fucking Samus one. The one with the gun. These are great. I like these. These are very, very cute. Awesome. I love these. The, like, mirrored one. Good shit. Good shit. That's very cute. Uh, this is by Lots of Stickers. This is um, a drawing of... Oh, Joey and... Oh, rest in peace. Joey and Rosangela and, uh, and, and Logan and KK. This is really cute. I like this. You should tweet this to the devs, too. They always like to see fan art. Um, this is awesome. Thank you for submitting that. That's very cute. Uh, this is by uh, Armored Dragon 99 We got uh, this. K. Rules Crown. And then this. Unavowed. Look at this. Unavowed hat. This is really, really cute. I like these a lot. I love the smile. It's very pure. Um, I think that might be it for the art, though. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, thank you very much for watching tonight. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for all the gift subs, too. It means a lot. I wonder if the uh, subtotal has updated. Uh, it has. Okay. Unless there was like two waves of those gift subs tonight, so I'm not sure if it updated for the second one. But as it stands right now, we are 115 sub points away from a new emote. So that's still, 
that's still a ways off. But it's still, uh, it's really, we're, we're closer than we were before. So thank you very, very much. Um, I will catch you guys probably tomorrow night with, uh, I would assume, more Bloodborne and more Fallout. But maybe I'll throw in the grab bag too. Um, thank you very much for watching. It means a lot. And I very, very much appreciate all of you taking the time out of your day to spend here. It means a lot. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.